Hey everybody, today I'm just going to do a product review on the Multiverse Gaming Dark City uh, Street Accessories. And so I don't have all of them, but I have a, I've picked up a number of the street accessories for the Marvel Universe miniatures game that uh, where I'm making a table. And so first I just thought I'd show you some of the end product and then I'm going to just take a couple of pieces to point out a couple of things and just talk about the buying experience, the price, and a variety of things like such as quality. Um, so, um, yeah, like, I think that, um, these street accessories are really nice. They really can add a lot to the table. Um, I have picked up a, um, subway entrance, and it comes with a, a couple of them. Um, telephone booths, I have mailboxes, um, I'll show those when I get there in a minute. I've got subway, or I guess bus, a bus, uh, shelter, um, a newsstand comes with some accessories with the news sedan as well, like for, um, I guess, uh, vending machines and paper holders. Um, so here is an example just to some of the mailboxes and fire hydrants. Um, and beyond that, I think that's pretty much what I had picked up. Now, they come with quite a few of these things, so I have mailboxes and fire hydrants at different areas of the table, um, and as well as the bu extra bus shelters and telephone booths and things. But that's sort of the example of the things that I picked up just to add some things to the table. So I'm going to actually go um, to my desk and just pull a couple of these over just to talk about them, and so I'll see you in a second. Hey everybody, so um, I'll just talk a little bit about the buying experience at first. So Multiverse Gaming, uh, it's, it is a, basically a web purchase. Um, they are based out of Poland. And um, yeah, I mean, I guess the price as far as I was concerned was, um, you know, it, I always feel sometimes that things can be a little on the high end, sometimes with MDF kits. I really, overall, I'll talk a bit more about the quality, but I feel that the kits are of a really nice quality, And I, but I do think that you actually end up paying for it. I think that they are priced, um, I guess, uh, for that quality. And, um, and then I'll talk a little bit about that, the whole idea of buying accessories uh, with MDF at the end of the video. Um, shipping was actually really quite reasonable as far as um, the price, considering how far it's coming from. And the delivery time for me from Poland and North America was about three weeks, which I actually think is really good. Um, I was expecting it to be pretty long. Um, I think three weeks is fairly reasonable. Um, and it was shipped fairly quickly. One thing I will, would say is... Um, Probably the only um, significant criticism that I have on the purchase is the, um, it didn't come in a box, and now I got a number of kits, probably four or five sort of flats of MDF boards, um, and I'm not going to pan away, but it came in just sort of uh, this sort of bag with bubble wrap. Now, nothing was damaged, and so from that perspective, the outcome was great, so I can't complain. Um, but I tend to like to see with when I'm buying MDF kits, like I prefer stuff coming in a box um, if possible. I was worried that even though the MDF is strong when it's sort of put together um, and packaged well, I still would worry about stuff getting broken and you know even just things coming out of the boards and stuff. And so I, I prefer a box. Now it's possible that to get a re reasonable shipping from Poland, that, that might have been the reason why it had to be delivered that way. Perhaps by putting in a box, it increases the size and the cost. I realize that these variables are not independent of each other, but I do, in the end, prefer a box, and that's not the, what they use. Um, so, the reason I chose these two kits in particular, um, and that's really this one here and this one here to show, is I really wanted to just show some of the complexity of the design of these. Um, what they're able to achieve at Multiverse Gaming. And I think these two pieces um, show that in two different ways. I'm going to start with, um, I, I really bought these primarily for the telephone booths that I showed, um, but I, wanted, I thought these kit two in particular really emphasized a couple of things. The um, taking, taking the, the kit apart, um, I mean, you, you can see here I did sand and I use a Dremel um, contact points, and you still need to do that for these, but they they do come off quite well. Um, there is a lot of use of 
um, a paper matting with these kits in addition to the MDF. Now, it's not the first time I've seen that. I've seen that with other vendors. Um, these are really delicate, and so unless you, if you're not into sort of fiddly things or taking your time with some kits and you want to put things together really quickly and you don't want to fuss, these may not be the kits for you. Um, you, if you will rip these little thin pieces of matting if you're not really careful and using a sharp hobby knife and being extra careful. But one of the things I would say is that what they have achieved, I think, in their accessory kits with this matting is a um, level of design quality that I really appreciate. I really feel that they're able to, like in this case, they've captured a bit of an Art Deco aspect to their designs that I'm not sure how easily they could achieve without using this and without putting that extra effort in to the, the, the design of these kits. All of these pieces up here and all of this, what you see in white, is actually paper. Um, it's sort of a, it's not a thin paper you would rip. It's sort of like a, uh, I don't know, a fiber type paper. It's much thinner than M MDF, but it's like definitely more substantial than like plain cardstock or something like that. Um, it's very fibrous. Um, but if you look at here, I really love the sort of Art Deco kind of designs and what they're able to achieve with it. The kits are um, for the most part simple and I would say they have directions on their website. They don't provide you with directions in the bag. You do have to download them on the website, but they're actually very good directions. In comparison I, to other companies, a broad range of companies, like I have experience with three or four other touring companies, and I would say that these were the best directions that I've received so far. Um, that's not to say that there is not room for improvement. I think with touring companies, there's always room for improvement in directions, in my experience. It can be a, it, it's one of the first times um, that I've not had a bone to pick, you know, with the directions. So that part is excellent. So moving on, um, the final piece I want to show just to um, talk about uh, the Multiverse Gaming kits is um, the newsstand. Now, um, the newsstand heavily uses the um, paper matting that I was talking about, and um, whether it be the MDF itself or the paper matting, this kit was really a pleasure to build, and I really felt that um, it was quite amazing, like the engineering that they thought of to put into it. Um, like whether it be the roll top with the paper matting, um, the the actual they put individual extra pieces to have um, areas where the shelf comes out here uh, for these like like sort of magazine racks, um, and that's on both sides. And even the shelves and themselves inside, I really felt this was an excellent, excellent piece. I just really loved loved it. Um, it and it, it went together extremely well and it was really well designed. Um, in addition, the um, they have these little vending machines that are extras. Um, they often do include extras of some sort, you know, on their um, kits. I believe that they would be extras. And I really think that um, for a street scene that these really are going to add a lot more character and um, and they really fit well with the piece that you're buying, so I think it's excellent. And they also utilize a lot of this matting as well to create really, really nice details within that. Um, now, I actually initially um, was very hesitant to buy these, all of them. And I think the reason being is that, from my perspective, when I look at my bang for my buck, I, I see the price of a building and then I see a price of something like this. And oftentimes, for what you're getting size-wise and utility-wise on the table in comparison to a building, these really are, are pricey, you know, in, in, the sense, in that sense. It's not, you're not paying for square footage. Um, after having put all of these together and seeing the amount of time that they've put into these and the quality, and what it must have taken just from a design perspective and like the amount that that goes into something like this as compared to a building that may not have as much detail throughout the whole building but it takes up a lot more space on the table i've really felt that um you're getting what you pay for and 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 you're, you're actually getting a very high quality um scenery piece with quite a bit of detail um for 
the amount of money that you're spending, which isn't insignificant. So it's really changed, you know, the, these kits really have changed my mind a bit on buying kit accessories, particularly from this company, Multiverse Gaming. I rate them very high on the quality point. Um, it isn't cheap. Um, you know, it's, it's definitely priced to that quality. Delivery, in summary, was reasonable, I thought. Um, I'm oftentimes a bit of hawkish, you know, uh, when it comes to delivery charges. And I can actually, at times, just not buy something just because I can't justify a delivery price. Um, I felt this was quite good. Um, they could have perhaps um, packaged it a little bit better to potentially prevent problems although I didn't have any problems myself. Um, the variety and across these kits and the amount of detail was fairly consistent. I, although I really wanted to use this one as an example, I felt all of them had excellent detailing and usage of like quality features on them. And yeah, I would actually rate this company extremely high on, um, on buying kits from them. I would be very interested to buy kits in the future and it was really an enjoyable build and at times I do like to just get terrain done so I can get back to my painting but I really looked forward to this um, it was quite a great experience so thumbs up for Multiverse Gaming uh, highly recommend their street accessories